There we go. <laughs> you remember um, my dad in prayer. Next week he's got his uh, he's got a lung test on Wednesday at the hospital. Then he's got to go back to the hospital on Thursday for his heart calf. And because of his past kidney stuff, he's we got to be there like real early that morning. And then they're, after the heart calf, they'll determine where they can go in to do the valve replacement. So I uh, just remember him in prayer. Um, I want to thank the Lord for touching me. Um, Lord did a did a blessing on me this week. Um, everything went good with the colonoscopy, and uh, just got some diverticulum, which is normal for someone over forty. They said so. That's pretty good there and everything. I want to thank you all for praying for that. And um, let's remember one another as we pray this evening. Remember Brother Dwayne. I went and visited him today and and um, he, he just needs a touch from the Lord that God will just give him strength and everything. And um, so do remember him in prayer. Um, remember Clyde Noble. They're helping Ellen and Rodney this evening with a project. And um, also remember Sister Norma in prayer that God will touch her. And um, let's also continue to pray for Lisa Johnson that God will touch her as well. And um, let's remember all these. And perhaps you've got one you'd like to add. Of course, let's remember Sister Charlene's um, cousin EJ in prayer that God would continue moving that situation. Things looked a little bit rougher yesterday. So let's pray that God will just touch and move in that. Jamie is traveling the next few days. So yes. Yes, let's remember that. Anyone else this evening? Remember Pauline Oakman? Yes. Lives down in Rhineland. She's yes. kind of shut in. She don't drive. She don't get to go nowhere. Let's pray for Mike Ingold. I talked to him today. Pray that God would just um, touch him. His roommate is out of the hospital and back in the in the room. And he said, as far as he knew, there were no no new cases of COVID, and everything was going better there at Blumenthal. So we praise the Lord for that. I remember one of your second moms, Sister Colleen. Yes. Yes, Colleen Garner um, fell and broke her hip. And she had to have hip surgery. And she came through everything. They had her sitting up today. They even had her take a few steps. Oh, wow. And so um, she's on the road to recovery, but we'll be going back to the nursing home. Unspoken by an uplifted hand. God is able. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Father God. Heavenly Father, we just yes, love you tonight, God. We thank praise you. Father, we give you glory and honor. You, Father, we thank you, God, for this opportunity we have to be in your house, God. We ask your God that you would touch us tonight at the point of our need, Father. God, Lord, we know that you're able to move, God, in these requests, God, and we're just trusting and believing, Lord, that you're going to meet every need, Father, in this place. Anoint this service tonight, God. Let everything that's done or said, Lord, bring glory and honor to you. And Father, we'll just thank you, God, and praise you for everything in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity, God, that we have to gather together. Anoint this time in Jesus' name, Lord. We thank you, God. Give you praise, Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We give you the glory and the honor and praise for everything. In Jesus' name, Lord, we lift you up, God. Amen. Let's worship the Lord this evening. Amen. Y'all glad to be in God's house tonight? Wow. Amen. Amen. All right. Hallelujah. 
Praise Jesus. Yeah. All right. Take a minute. We'll wake you up here in a minute, right? All right. Help me sing. What a mighty God we serve. <clears throat> up in North Wilkesboro, and uh, he has got better over his COVID episode and is doing well. So thank you for your prayers. All right, where could I go? But to who? To the Lord. Amen.
Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 <laughs> You're getting there. <laughs> Acts chapter 2, verses 42 through 47. It's our text this evening. Acts 2, 42 through 47. Acts 2, 42 through 47. Amen. Scripture says the following. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and breaking of bread and prayers. And fear came upon every soul and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. All that believed were together and had all things common and sold their possessions and goods and parted to every man as every man had need. And they continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily as such to be saved. I want to tonight look at the early church. And there's some things we need to get back to like the early church. Amen. So let's pray and ask God to touch us. Father, we love you and we just thank you, God, for your many blessings. We ask God for the anointing of your Holy Ghost just to rest upon us. I pray, God, that you would touch us tonight. I pray you'd speak to our hearts. And God, give us a greater burden, Lord, for your house. And for that, God will give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. We have talked about patriarchal worship, tabernacle worship, Davidic worship, and then there's also in the Old Testament temple worship, which is the same as tabernacle worship, but in its elements, but it was one permanent place of worship while the tabernacle moved everywhere the children of Israel went in, in the wilderness and in the journeys. The tabernacle stayed in one place. I mean, the temple stayed in one place. Mm -hmm. And then you had the synagogue in the New Testament, which was a place of teaching. And now we see early church worship. The birth of the church in Acts 2 was a... Was a um, prophecy that was given by Jesus himself in Matthew 16, 18. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I want you to understand what that says there. It does not say upon this rock the pastor will build the church. Upon this rock the congregation will build the church. It says upon this rock I will build my church. Right. This is not our church. This is really Jesus' church. Right. We're just occupying it until He comes back again. And I've come to tell you this evening, we need to understand that. And we need to understand we have victory. It says the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Right. Right. Amen. We've got victory tonight. Right. Yes. Praise the Lord. We need to turn our frowns upside down right. and give the Lord a smile because yes. we've got victory. Tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We are the church triumphant this evening. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You and I and, and other churches that, that have Jesus as Lord and Savior and, and, and believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ, guess what? We're brothers and sisters in Christ. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank Those that are watching tonight by Facebook, if you go to another church. You're part of us. We're all family. One body. Right. Right. One body of Christ. Right. Many members. Right. Amen. Amen. So we get to Acts 2, and there are some things that I underlined in our opening text that stand out here. Note these elements. Number one, they had the Apostles' Doctrine. What was the Apostles' Doctrine? It was... The dedicate or the te early teachings of Christ. The gospel. It was the Old Testament. It was things that were done up to that point. The truth and word of God. Then there's fellowship that's given there. 
And when we think of fellowship, we immediately think of what's going to happen after Sunday morning service this Sunday. Food. <laughs> we think of shaking hands and hugging necks or as in this day and time, bumping fist and, and bumping elbows and just waving at somebody and smiling at them. But fellowship's more than that. Fellowship is a community. Then there's breaking of bread, and that's mentioned twice. That's the meal part. And it also can relate to us having communion with God and with each other. Then there's prayers, and that's the most important part. Uh -huh. Unity is mentioned twice. Stewardship, and then praise. Tonight I want to focus on the first thing in this text uttered in the Apostles' Doctrine is prayer. It says in Acts 2.42 that they continued steadfastly in the Apostles' Doctrine and Fellowship breaking the bread and in prayers. First of all, we've got to have the Gospel as our foundation. We've got to have the Bible as our foundation. But on that foundation is prayer. Communication with God. If there's one thing that the early church did, was they prayed. I talked about this Sunday morning. Acts 3, they went to the temple to pray. Acts 4, they prayed the place was shaken. Acts 16, they prayed at midnight, sang praises to God. And in Acts 1, they tarried till the Holy Ghost came on the day of Pentecost. Now, if they used the Apostles' Doctrine, which is traditionally the 